R-B-E. Let's get started. It's the Rula and Ryan Show. Wake up, fool! Hey, wake up! It's about to get all stupid up in here! Right here! Featuring <laughs> Eric. Eric! He is a bad, bad man! Special K. The big red K. Are you threatening me? I'm waiting for you. And Sam. <gasps> You've waited long enough. How the heck do you pronounce this woman's name? Rula. <laughs> and Ding Dong. Ryan. 104.1 KRBE. Good morning. Good morning, Houston, Texas. Good morning, Houston, Texas. Can you hear me okay? Yes. yes. We yes. hear you fine. Yep. Is there okay. an echo yeah. on your part? No, it's fine. Ooh. It's Air, Thursday, yeah. July the 11th of 2024, and it's 6.01 a.m. with the gang, Rula, Ryan, Eric, Social K, and Sam, but two of us are not in the studio to keep down the body heat count in well, a 100-degree room. Let me explain. Go, yeah, go ahead, Eric. First of all, let's make yeah. sure my mic works. Is it yeah. working? Yeah, yeah we well, hear you sound fine. good. You sound good. So uh, around... Stuff, he's a little low. Okay, yeah, let's, let's bring up his mic. So behind the scenes here, around 5 in the morning... I pull up to the building. It says, building out of service. I'm like, hmm, okay. Well, they had that sign on yesterday, by the way. Oh, they, they did? Done that. Oh, I yeah. didn't see that. Left. I didn't see it before. That was, but already, that was, all, that was already, already yesterday. But the lights are out. So uh, I came in here. We have an industrial fan in here. And I was like, oh, oh the chiller must have broke during the middle of the night because it was like. Oh, no, I think it broke during our show yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it is like, no kidding, it's got to be close to 100 degrees in here. So it's the same as most people's houses. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. AC right now. Uh, here we are in the aftermath of Barrel, and our building is uh, suffering just like many homes across the Houston area. Mm-hmm. Um, at, at least the the one is the one elevator still working. You'll have to climb yes. the seven floors. One yes. elevator. Okay. Yes, thank, thank you. you. All right. That's all. And we then need. the toilets flushed yesterday, which made me happy. But um, other than that, oh, no, they don't no, today. No, they don't. So oh, all the bathrooms no. are out of service. That's going to be my next situation. I'm, maybe I'll step out during roses and head on <laughs> yeah, head on back to the house right quick. <laughs> Good luck, Ryan. Get, uh, get a diaper. Hey, we have diapers. Don't wow. we have the diapers still? You know, I love the show. I'm not um, doing that. Ew. No. I'm not. No. No. And then you, you think Sam wants to sit next to me like that? With a diaper? No. No. I'm not even going to hey, explain get, my situation. Uh, do. It's no. TMI. <laughs> so... Well, yesterday it got progressively worse in the studio heat wise. And in all the years we've done the show together, we've never had in all the disasters we've had the stations. I mean, even during Ike, I remember mm-hmm. we still had AC. And Ike was my re- was my like refuge. The studio was my refuge because it was still air conditioned. Mm-hmm. But for this one, our building has taken a turn and it's just too hot. It, we cannot have all of us in that room. Yesterday, halfway through the show, we were trying to figure out, do we all like break apart? Do I come home to broadcast from here? Uh, my house does not have power, but I'm I'm running on generator, so at least I can do that from home. Eric lives in a high rise that also runs on generator, so he can do that from there. Um, Sam got her power back. Ryan, you're still out, right? I am the lone member of the show with no power. It's like I go from the hot house to the hot studio. I'm like, please. Right. <laughs> so we were trying to figure out how to decrease the body heat because what people don't realize, and probably we didn't realize it until really we got desperate, is you know we really put a lot out a lot of energy when the six of us are in a room together or five of us are in the room together. So it just gets hotter. Your body heat rises, especially Sam's behind the, the button board, the oh, mothership. Yeah. So it's if it's going to be 100 degrees in there, it's going to feel 120 to us. So we have broken up today so that everybody has a little bit of space and we can just carry the show like this. When I was That's driving around yesterday, I noticed mm-hmm. fast food restaurants, hotels, and fence makers, people that are going to do roofs and fences, those are the people that are going to make the money over this yeah. whole whole week. It's crazy. Have Every you fast seen food fences? place on Kirby, mm-hmm. you couldn't even drive down Kirby because so many people were like oh, trying yeah. to cut it's across. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, idiot, you can't Wait, just cut across, across to, to what? Like they're going from to try and get food. Uh, 59, you know, past Hillstones, okay. and there's a Wendy's on the left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They think they can just cut across and get in there, but they don't realize there's like 20 trucks oh. and cars. Oh, man. And so they're blocking the traffic and then people start honking. I'm like, uh-oh, it's about to begin. People are about to blow up. We talked about this yesterday. At what point will all the brotherly love and goodwill go out the window? I'd say day four with no power and the temperatures flaring, I think we're about there. I mean, I'm starting to see it. Yeah, what's the summer point update? What did they say? How many they fixed overnight? Uh, I, I can't even remember yet. I'll try and look at yeah, that. Yeah, we're, we're trying. Okay, to, okay. here it is. 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 I have it. I have it. One point one million homes still offline. Four hundred thousand more to be restored by Friday night. Three hundred fifty thousand more to be restored by Sunday night, according to what ABC thirteen is broadcasting on the power update from Center Point. I think that's 1. the most one million clients. Fr- yeah, so that's the most frustrating thing about the whole thing is just the lack of 
communication. Like, I'm not getting texts from, I signed up for the text alerts. I'm not getting any information as to when the power is coming back on. They wanted to shoot for that goal yesterday of, oh, we'll have down to a million. Uh, They did not hit that. But other than that, we don't know what areas they're working We're on get when, yeah. when we could see our power back on it's it's one of those situations in my neighborhood one street down the people in the neighborhood all have their power on but not my street so at least it's creeping towards so, you though that's progress at least it's creeping towards you because yeah. when you see my the trucks main, and you're thinking oh yay let's go i saw three trucks yesterday try and tackle two trees on four power lines because they had like, like mixed them up like oh like yeah beaters, you know yeah and yeah. i was like oh my god how do they even do that y'all how do they even do that <laughs> So, um, you know, back to what we said yesterday, if you feel like not going to college, but you want to go to trade school, go be an electrician, go work for a gas company. Get your journeyman's you're license. You're very busy. You're making six figures. I mean, you're you're making a good living doing that. But um, you're making it immediately. You know? Yeah. It's not like you have to wait four years, six no. years. No, you're not working your way up the ladder. I mean, I'm sure you do work your way up the ladder to a certain degree, but you're getting right in there and making money. And... Uh, Here's the thing, guys. Do you know of any hotels that allow pets? Because I've got three dogs, and and they're suffering. And and like my little Mango right now, she is not doing well. It is so freaking hot. If you do um the website Bring Fido, uh-huh. uh, it is a uh, like I always use the app, but it's a website to basically show you like where you can bring your dog. Oh, that's um, good. And then we even posted on Caribbean different. Um, yeah, Ryan. Different, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to look different at anything, Rolo, when you don't centers. have power or cell right. service. It's different, uh, <laughs> on Caribbean East Instagram, we did the whole thing of different cooling centers that allow pets. Uh-huh. Uh, I think so Audrey Rose sent one, right? There's different cooling centers. Um, Where is it? What, on, on KRVE email. or on her Instagram? Or just, I thought we got an email about a uh, place for dogs to cool or mm. something. After look. So many emails we get, it's hard to yeah, find everything. Yeah, no, but there was uh, something on KRVE that had that. Um, yeah, it is, it's crazy hot yesterday uh, because I'm very fortunate that I do have power, but I'm mm. having guests at my house, so it's kind of crazy, especially with a little toddler that doesn't understand, oh, like, sure. um. you can't chase the dogs. They don't They don't want that. Or you Uh-oh. can't, like, Misty's the only dog that likes to get a ball thrown at her face. You know, most dogs don't like that. Right. So uh, <laughs> we went to, <laughs> you know, we went to um, TJ Maxx yesterday because to see if it was open, like, off West Gray. And, um uh-huh. Was it it was so interesting. So TG Maxx, I believe, is on the left hand side. Marshalls is on the right hand side. If you're looking at yes. that, Home Goods, right? Yes. Home Goods, yeah. So uh-huh. TG Maxx was open. Marshalls was not, mm. which I thought was really interesting. Um, but it was so hot in there. Like you walk in, it kind of seems a little bit refreshing, and then it's not. But it was insane how many people were still shopping in this yeah. heat. It was it yeah. was pretty crazy. Here's and- something uh, that I think a lot of people are going through this right now. Last night, because there are certain meds that have to be refrigerated, and a lot of people are in this situation. We have no ice. I yeah. drove around, y'all. I st- it became a joke. I started writing it down. I'm like, okay, hon. This one, none, none, none. It took me 17 stores and 90 minutes to find a little bag of ice. I mean, yeah, nobody has ice. You texted me, Ryan. I could have sent you to the restaurant. You get a bag of ice there. Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, you just texted me. Well, I, mean, I was work. Work. Yeah. by the time by the time I found this, I'd started in one part of town, and I had made my way all the way to the other side of town. And you know, honestly, I had taken my dog with me just so she'd get a little AC in the car. I'd put her in the car for uh, we were probably in the car for like two hours, so she got that cool air blowing on her and got a little bit of relief. Yeah, that's good. Um, people also are saying sorry, real quick, because of text. I don't know if you guys can see them right now, Rula. Uh, Motel Six allows pets, Ryan. The Hiltons allow mm-hmm. pets. Um, that's good to know. Yeah, thank you, anybody, for texting us, and uh, thank you for the update on how we sound because I know it's a little different. And I'm sorry if there's an echo or working. Well, on does that. it sound different? Because in my headphones, I feel like we sound totally yeah. normal. Is Do there we an sound echo different? Or? To be yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. getting better. We're okay. we're the signal going down to y'all's headphones might be a little bit loud from us, so that causes an echo back down through your microphone. Oops. But we Sorry. only notice it if we're when we're talking. So mm-hmm. I'm trying ah. to like have Ryan talk and see if I can fix it that way. And then when I talk, it's like no. trying to fix it. And then when Kev talks, because when you guys talk, it sounds fine. fine. Um, okay, but I'm just trying to. Well, there you go, Rula. Just talk the whole time. Bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna yeah. For my Shut dinner. up and find a restroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You and me both. You see Kevin, Kevin and my son walking out of Westminster. Yeah, look at the two radio guys going down the street. That clenched walk. 
<laughs> oh God, Kev! I, I really feel like um, the the sometimes I know you have to pick and choose which of the evil is less, like the lesser evil. Mm-hmm. Is it the heat or is it the toilet? I think I the heat is fine to- for me. You know, yeah, I'm, to- I'm a reptile. Not having the toilet you is are totally hundred percent a reptile. <laughs> yeah, not Kevin's having the like, toilet. Yes, I can take my clothes off. I know. And be naked, it's okay. Well, because that's, that's where so many sweaters up in here. Well, you know, why are you wearing true. clothes, Kev? If you love the heat, I know this is your chance. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I have this a tank top on. <laughs> I this, my, I have one nip hanging out. I didn't realize it because you when you ro- when you cut things, they roll back in oh, the washing yeah. machine, yes. uh-huh. and then all of a sudden, everyone's not looking at your face anymore. They're looking at that one little. This poking out. Hello <laughs> <laughs> there. Hey, to, anyone uh, looking at me? Bathing suits. That's the same issue I have. I feel you, Kev. Oh, no. yeah. Because you, you never switched out. Understands? You never switched out your bathing suits. Yes, since I did. You, Shut up. Shut and up. now Shut they're up. like, little, 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 like Oreos on you. Oh my God. No. No. Go walk well, to the Speaking of your bathing suits. Now I'm hungry. Speaking yeah. of your bathing suit, yeah. Eric wants Oreos. Oh, Eric Oreos. Hi, Lanta. <laughs> Go, Rula. I'm going to move along. Take over. Move along. Um, speaking of bathing suits, one of the most famous bikinis in the history of film is the most famous bikini in the history of film. What is it? Baywatch. No, that's not bikinis. Oh, yeah. They wear red swimsuits. Oh, they wear red swimsuits. Oh, What's the bikini? Come on, my I science people. Princess oh, Leia's science? gold bikini. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. uh, See, I don't consider that a bikini. That's Princess a Leia's sand. gold bikini is the There's most no famous bikini in film, yeah. and it's going up for auction. I know, technically it has like a loincloth to it, but anyway, we'll talk about how much it's going for and give you a little scoop coming up next. Here's your official hot weather report for today. Yeah, it's going to be in the <laughs> 90s. We do have a chance for some rain and thunderstorms uh, around 3 to 4 this afternoon, so we'll see what happens there. Right now, 78 degrees and 612 on the Rulin' Ryan Show. <laughs> Is Rula and Ryan Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. It is brought to you by Tacaria Sarandas, and um, I know everyone's still in the aftermath of barrel, and here we are, no power for many, 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 many people. I'm trying to get the update on the number of how many Center Point actually got restored, but there are a lot of people. They didn't hit their restored. goal yesterday. Uh, no. They were supposed to do get it down to a million. It's a million and one. 1.1 million customers without power. One million, one million. I'd be one of them. 1,100,000. I know they're, <laughs> the, the linemen are. One lineman texted us yesterday by the end of the show. By the way, I wanted to um, read this real quick because I took a screenshot. Can you please remind people that although I'm glad they want to talk to us, we are exhausted and we are trying to work as fast as we can. Mm-hmm. And when you guys stop us to talk to us, it takes away from what we're doing. And we are all hot and we are all tired. And thanks for asking questions, but we just need to get back to work. That was yeah. from Center Point Lineman. Um, so, y'all just, uh, I guess when you see them, give them a thumbs up, I guess, and uh, tell them, hey, we appreciate what <laughs> you Or some doing. bottled water. Make sure it's a thumb. Yeah. Yeah. A thumb. Not, not the bottled water. And like okay, the and also, with so fault. many of us impacted by this ridiculousness, Hurricane Barrel, which I'm still in shock, it was not just a tropical storm, KHOU 11 is partnering with the American Red Cross to help the ones in need from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock on on Friday, July the 12th, American Red Cross volunteers are going to be on hand in the KHOU 11 studios to take your calls. Your calls will be for donations to help the very many of your neighbors across the greater Houston area. You can help by calling 713-654-1111. You can save that for now so that you can call it then. 713-654-1111 on Friday starting at 4 p.m. Join us as we stand for Houston together in yet another ridiculous disaster think about this weather maybe you got maybe you have power at your house and you feel guilty this is a great way to make a donation on friday you know you're like what can i do to help people hopefully you can give them food ice sh- shelter your own home but you can also give a donation think of it that correct way. so it starts on friday at four o'clock okay so my friends there's yet another celebrity memorabilia auction oh these there. auctions are always fun it's, this one's by Heritage, usually. Usually mm-hmm. the Omaze ones are the ones that have, like, celebrity interactions with it. Which, by the way, hold on. I know you don't have TV in there. i got to tell you this right now. I have ABC 13 on in my house. So I have a generator. 
There is a major backup on I-10 at 59. All I see is miles and miles of traffic. So those of you who did venture out of your house to go to work, maybe because your work has AC, now you're just stuck on I-10. I mean, on on um, on the freeway because of traffic. We're going to try and see what the traffic situation is there because they just switched. But it's miles of traffic. It's a shutdown. Do you know, Sam? Did you get that? Um, No. I Okay. So I thought I had... You, you had your hand up because you were going to tell I, me. I'm oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm changing the channel because we do actually have one TV, but it was on the Spanish channel and I don't know Spanish so I'm like I don't <laughs> those, I was those, muted anyway I was like, was yeah, but no those report? words didn't look like I knew what they were but I was like maybe I'm so hot that that is actually English, that's, that's and I'm just, just like not channel. understanding. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing things in I'm here. Like, uh, <laughs> when you can see the air moving, then you yes, know it's hot. My son turned my also. Sorry, side note. My son put my um, TV into Chinese. Everything is in Chinese right now. Oh, like the subtitles. Oh, you gotta go to your settings. It's or not just even the subtitles. Voiceover. Like everything. It's voiceover. Everything <laughs> is in Chinese, and I don't know how to. I don't know what he keeps is that doing. Mandarin? Maybe. I don't know what it is, but it is like the, the symbols. Like You know what I mean? It's not like got ABCD. It, That's where I'm at right, right now also. So. Oh, good times. So you Sorry. should learn something. You can't. Yeah, you might learn something. I'm yeah. okay, like, a second really? language what, in the middle of this. When it pops back up on TV, I will tell you exactly what it is. In the okay, meantime, yeah, please Eric, do. Maybe you can go to uh, text dot and go to incidents and tell us, Eric, what you see as I yeah, finish word. my heritage auction. Yeah, uh, I want to hear about this. this. Word. I can't remember right, my so, password on my computer in here. <laughs> Oh, my God, hilarious. Because Eric hasn't broadcast from home for such a long time. But I did it last year for six months. I tried to use my Um, fingerprint. And it's not working anymore. So Princess Leia's gold bikini. Is it actually a bikini? Well, the top is a bikini top. And the bottom is like a bottom, but then it had a a burgundy fabric, almost like a loincloth. I'm going to show it to you on my Zoom screen. Yeah, no, I mean, that's the famous one where it's draped and you could see side butt cheek when she was swinging across the uh, uh, thing with Luke. That's a Halloween costume right there. It is, it is. (laughs) Um, Princess Leia's bikini is going up for auction. The auction is already open and the starting bid is $30,000. $30,000. The auction um, is closing on July 24th. So let's see how high the bids get. It'll go for, for a lot. Bikini. A lot more. The thing is, if you own that and you wore it out, people aren't going to know it's the real one. Any you're, kind of, you're not going to wear it. Any kind of Comic Con you go to or any kind of like. Oh, I'm sure. You like see a hundred, hundreds of women dressed like that. Yeah, even Halloween. Yes, but you're going to spend like. Fifty to seventy-five to a hundred thousand dollars. You're not wearing it out. No, like, probably oh, no, not. No, 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 that's going yeah. in a, in a Some, somebody showcase needs box. to buy this. And actually, I'm surprised they've been putting it up for auction. They should put this in like one of the movie museums because this is the original. This is the one that Princess Leia actually wore, that Carrie Fisher actually wore. Mm-hmm. Other things going up for auction on July 24th. You guys are going to know how to say this better than me. The USS Excelsior Star Trek Voyager, Greg Jine built hero. Oh, so here's the deal. In uh, okay. Star Trek, the Excelsior was not a ship. It was a, not the Enterprise. It was a ship that Mr. Sulu eventually went on to captain. So it was okay. in several movies. It was screen used before. drop. I know. But before they had <laughs> CGI, they actually used real models. Uh, and they had them you know, against a blue oh, like screen. Oh, kind of fly, flying against... Doo, 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 yeah. doo, doo. They fly through like that, you know, behind cardboard paper. Okay. Yeah. Well, this That's is going to start at $40,000. It's true. It's true. $40,000 what that starts as. Um, if you're a big sci-fi fan, the movie 2001 Space Odyssey, early production script. The early production script by Stanley Kubrick and Arthur C. Clarke of 2001 A Space Odyssey is up for grabs <laughs> in this auction. Starts at $10,000. <laughs> Thor's hammer, guys. Chris Hemsworth Weighted Hero Hammer from Thor The Dark World is going up for auction on July 24th is when we're going to start getting the final bids. The starting bid is 17500 They must have used Goodness like, like 50 hammers throughout all those movies, though. And if you were the main star of that show, wouldn't you kind of just be like, oh, sorry, you went in my Taking bag. Taking this with me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't That's you? Right. I but they're would. Really, it, they're really sensitive about that. Okay, so yeah, but if you could had like extra ones, it would be yeah, great. Just take one. But just when take I, one. I was on an episode of Star Trek all those years ago, it's almost twenty years ago, I was on one, and they make sure you're not taking anything off those mm. sets. Like you're yeah, going you to security. Can't let nobody take stuff because then everything right. will be gone. Well, yeah, it's true. I exactly. wasn't nobody. I was basically a glorified extra. That's it. You but, know. You know what I mean? Like the star, though. Like 
Yeah. Everybody starts. I suppose. Yeah. You know. A good example of this is um, in as many times as now that my nine-year-old child is quoting Friends quotes to me, the, the in the in the famous apartment of Monica and Rachel on top of the fridge, there was mm-hmm. a kitty cat cookie jar. Mm-hmm. And the kitty cat cookie jar had like a clock for a belly, and I think the eyes go sideways. And Lisa Kudrow said on the very last day of filming, she just took it. Oh, it really? Her house. <laughs> so nice. even when they did the reunion, they had to have a different kitty cat cookie jar because she has the original on the shelf in her house. Ah, because she was like, I'm nice. taking this thing. If you're a fan of The Mandalorian, what's up for grabs from The Mandalorian? Din Djarin's helmet from The Mandalorian is going for starting bit of $20,000. Uh, so Pedro Pascal's helmet. Okay. I go now. That's too much money. There. Yeah. Does that make you mad? You're sitting. And if you do buy this, Eric, let, yeah, let's think about this. this. It does oh, make me I mean, mad, Eric. I mean, I've got like uh, five walls or four four walls of fence that have to be repaired and rebuilt. I'm not going out there and some, some idiot spent a twenty grand on a nerd helmet. Hey, wait, by the way, sidebar, storm talk. Um, I had a tree that was hitting my house through the whole storm. My mom was staying with us during the storm, and she was so freaked out the whole night she thought the tree would fall on the house. And so she's been really worried about this tree. So there was a guy in the neighborhood, somebody on my little neighborhood chat, said, hey, this guy's really good for tree removal and tree takedown, la, la, la. So, of Mm -hmm. course, I text him. He comes to my house yesterday, and I asked him, what are we going to do with this tree? It survived the derecho. It it did survive barrel, but I'm really nervous about it. There's a tree branch that's hanging on by a thread. It's like broken, but it's just dangling there. And I said, I don't know. I mean, and it's leading towards my driveway, not towards my house. And he said that it's a healthy tree. And if he tries, it's a pine tree. You know how tall those get, right? If he tries to cut it, it'll kill the tree. Or I could just totally remove it and just just not even have it at all. Wait, if you but take off a branch, like, it's going to kill the whole tree? No, he's talking about cutting it because it's so big. I was worried in the next storm because when it's not if, it's when. Yeah. Is it going to fall over? And so he, he feels that it's a healthy tree. He could just trim back that tree branch that's dangling and maybe one more. But he said there's really not much to do. My mom is like freaking out. She just thinks either get a second opinion or just cut this thing down because this is just um, too much trauma from all these people falling and dying under the trees or just being trapped by the trees. So the guy said it'd be 200 bucks to cut off a couple of those branches. Now, who am I to bargain with him when he's the one that's to climb this thing like a monkey and get up there with the cords and the rappel rods and get this thing down, right? Is $200 a lot to cut off a branch? No. No. It's not? Okay. No. 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 That's what I, I don't, think, like, I don't think so. He all the way up there. That's why. You're, pay- you're paying for someone to go up there who has insurance. And he's going to shimmy up that thing they and will. put they'll his put a little... life on the line. Yeah. He could fall. Either so. that or they'll use a cherry picker. They'll put a little belt around it, and they have these special shoes with little um, points in them. And yeah. they're able to, like, wow. shimmy on up the tree. I also I have a palm tree that died, and it's just one stick. And so I'm worried it's going to fall over into the house. So I'm also going to have that one removed. I think that one's going to be $300, but it's not too okay. too. Do you have to replace? This sounds like a dumb question, but I know when we were building our house. Uh-huh. uh-huh. In, in 2016, if you tore, took trees out, you had to put trees back. Well, it's different. Them. Every oh, HOA is HOAs, different. Yeah, uh, Eric, I know in our instance, we lost just uh, we lost two uh, back in May, and we lost five more during this storm. And they're big. These trees are probably 120 years old at least. They're big trees, and we do not have to replace them. It was like an act yeah. of God. It took them down. Now, if you well, cut them but down, when I, yeah, when I just for uh, fun, my, you'd have to replace them. I, yeah, when I built my house that we ended up leaving because of mold, um, the HOA told us you have to have minimum two trees in your front yard because we had to take down trees to make the house fit on the footprint. And I mean, because they're working out for you now when these trees fall on your house. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And actually, I asked that guy how how old that, how old that tree is in front of my house, the one that's such a tall pine. Mm-hmm. I was thinking he's going to tell me like 100 years old. He goes, that's ah, about 45, 50. I go, really? That's crazy. It's so big. So I don't know. And like, what's it going to cost to take it down? Like, I don't know, 2,500 bucks or something? And then they have to grind out. Here's a really important thing for all Houstonians who are dealing with this now because your tree snapped in half or it's broken or it looks bad. You got to, you've got to get whatever company is doing this. They can't just cut a tree down and not grind the stump. The stump has to be totally, the roots have to be removed because one of the people that, when I built that house I don't live in anymore, they had to cut down a tree and grind the stump. They said they took care of all of it. No, they didn't because over the six years that I lived there or however many years after I built it, this giant, the roots started coming up to the surface and made this giant hole in the front yard. Oh, no. And the kids would always fall over it. Oh, no. Just like rip an ankle, like tore up an ankle because the roots just surface. It's so crazy how this works because they said they grind the stumps, but they did not. 
then the roots came up and there's a huge hole and I wonder if people that own the house now ever got that fixed but there's a huge hole in the front yard from the roots if you're not careful when you walk you just you turn your ankle in that root hole so if somebody's gonna take down a tree because of barrel in your front yard you have to really distinctly detailed ask them okay what are you gonna do with the, with the roots and all that because we don't want those coming up so I don't know somebody wants to text me at 37530 what it costs to take down a I don't know, 45-year-old pine tree, maybe. My mom's like, just take it down. The next dorm is coming. We don't want to fall on the car. Are those pine trees annoying for, like, your pool? Yes. Yes, oh, my God. Yes, and then my go car? In your, yeah, in, in your the, car, would I help you get those pine tell cones them, out? Tell them how many pine cones are. I'm growing trees in my car. Yeah, I pulled at least, like, eight of them out, it's pine crazy. cones out. I see, yes. And they were sharp. And I have one yeah. pine tree. One. The other one's a pecan tree. I have a pecan tree and a pine tree. That's all I got. A pecan? A pecan tree. Which I'm allergic to pecans. Isn't that funny enough? I guess I'll bring y'all some when it starts to harvest. Um, coming up next, we'll do some open phones, guys. 713-390. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. 833-390-KRBE. It's been a bit since I've been saying 713, so give me a minute. We're going to have a swear <laughs> jar. Basically, every time you say it wrong, you got to put a dollar in. 833-390-KRBE. Maybe some people, as they've gotten power back and they've gotten a little bit back to their routine, maybe you're hearing us on the app. Yes, our area code changed at the radio station for the request line. It is 833-390-KRBE. You can give us a call and talk about whatever you want. Next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Okay, so now we are on day four. We were wondering if the uh, the goodwill, the spirit of togetherness, would start to Houston, fade at this point. Houston Strong, yeah. Houston, we're gonna. Now bitch. I'm like, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to get the hell out of this city. I'm tired of this. Well, um, on uh, the news, they just showed that at I-10 in Sawyer, when you're heading to uh, the Washington Corridor, one of the guys who does the different graffiti, it's not the, it. the B someone. It's not the B someone guy. What is it? Somebody wrote. Center pointless. And the <laughs> S's are dollar signs. And it's at the underpass of I 10 and Sawyer. Center pointless. Po- Center point has admitted they need to do better after barrel. No. And they're trying to do what they can. I think to what was frustrating. Stop suffering. You know, we did the show. Uh, Sam and Ahmad and I were able to make it in on Monday while the hurricane was happening. And the fact is, every single expert said, this is exactly what we predicted. We knew it was going to be this way. So if you knew that. I still didn't know that. I still don't know that. I'm not an expert, but I didn't know that. But the experts knew it. So if they knew, then why weren't their people already here, ready to hit the ground? And and this is nothing against the linemen. My God, we, we thank you so much for what you do. And we see you working so hard out there. I'm just saying this was a bad decision not to have them here in the first place. Yep. Well, we would like to go to the phones at 833-390-KRBE. Somebody te- texted and asked, is the vent line number still the same? Yes, that is still 713-278-VENT. Mm-hmm. But we changed our area code for the request lines, and not just because of the storm. This is going to be from here on out because we have a lot of request lines, and it's just a thing that had to happen. So it's 833-390-KRBE. Yes, it's toll-free, which means people who listen on the app from all over can call us for free. Elizabeth is up first. Good morning, Elizabeth. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Good morning, y'all. Hey, Elizabeth. Do you have power? Do you have power, Elizabeth, or no? Yes, I do. Oh, thank God. When did you get it? Yeah, we got it two days ago. Oh, nice. Okay. So um, how did y'all make it out of the storm? How did you make it through the storm? Any damage? Well... Not my house, but my parents' house. Um, the reason why I wanted to come on here um, to maybe spread the word. Um, my parents almost didn't make it on Monday. A tree fell through their roof in their bedroom. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Um, mind you, we're going through the loss of my grandpa two weeks ago. So, oh. just thinking of that, we almost lost my parents. Um, later, yes, my, my dad, yes, my dad um, had a severe laceration on his head from one of the branches. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. And then that left him in the hospital. My brothers and my sister, they um, they had to crawl through the rubble, everything. They had to, to try their best to get through the tree to get both of my parents out. And I, I don't know if it was God or my grandpa or somebody, I don't know, but... Somebody was watching over them. 
was not their time. Yeah. Was it dark out? Was it, uh, I, I wasn't here during the, the, the brunt of the storm. At what point in the morning did this happen? And I assume it's everyone was home and they, they immediately went to their rescue. Right. This happened Monday morning around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, oh, wow. They well, live in New Caney, New Caney, Texas, and see, that they, makes sense. they had, they had makes a lot of trees down on our street. See, that makes sense, Kevin. So the storm made Matagorda County at 3.55 a.m., and it proceeded north. Uh, it was going north. Mm -hmm. And so it hit over here at KRBE. We're at Gessner and Westheimer. It was around, I, I want to say, it was pretty bad driving in at 5.30. Uh, but I'd say it really hit here in this area around 8 in the morning. And then we had... Um, Oh, God, we had Cheetah on, Cheetah Craft from KHOU. Wait, 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 wait no, let's, let's get to the calls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Almost, and it went, it went north. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, we all God, went through it. We know it's for yeah. Kevin. Elizabeth, God bless your family, and I really hope that your dad recovers well from that terrible laceration from the branches, and I'm so sorry for the loss of your grandpa. I know it's such a tough time, but I am so glad you have your power back and prayers that your parents make a quick recovery and their home gets repaired. Let's go to Arnold on the line at 713-390. I'm sorry, 833-390-KRVE. Hi, Arnold. Hi, Rula. Hi, Ryan. I just want to start by saying I love you guys and I love the show. Oh, thanks, Arnold. Thank you, Arnold. Do you want to give a shout-out to somebody who really showed their human side in this storm? Yes, I want to give a special shout-out to Scrappy, the pet supplies in the north side at South Gulf Bank. It was right after the storm, and I could tell the man was really tired. You know, nobody slept right. Everybody was in the hot eight, in the hot right. house, you know, with no power. This guy, I uh, called up the pet store and looked around local pet supplies around my house. I called up, and uh, he said, I, I'm not there, but I will be there. And you know how they always say they're going to be there. And I said, well, there goes that. <laughs> well, the guy actually texted me and said, I'm here. I show up 15 minutes down the road. I'm looking for the food. I'm looking for this guy inside. There's nobody inside, but I see a guy passed out. You know, I'm like, man, look at this guy. He's passed out. Oh, wow. Hmm. So whenever I get there... When, whenever I walk in the store, I'm like, hello, nobody's there. I wait five minutes. I'm all right, I'm leaving. And I, and I got curious, and I look at the guy on the shirt, and it's his his shop. The shop is open with thousands and thousands of food supplies in there, you know, of pet food okay. supplies. And yeah. then I was like, you know what, I'm going to wake him up and tell him, hey, man, you can't leave this unattended. You know, you have no cameras, no nothing. You know, nothing's recording what's going on, you know. I know right. you're tired. You're trying to help out the fur babies. You know, you're actually opening up to feed these dogs. So I didn't have no electronic payment to pay him or the, uh, I only had electronic payment and there was no power uh, yeah. and he only took cash and the guy saw me struggling so bad, you know, calling my wife losing signal because the phone signals are bad and everything. So yes. the guy literally told me, you know what? I know your dog needs to eat. Just go ahead and take it. If you come back and pay me good, if not, it's okay. And that really Aww. filled my heart. You know what? I'm like, you know That's what? Awesome. You said my babies. I was worried about my, my kids, but then, I was worried about also my fur babies, and you fed my fur babies, and that filled me beyond. You know, I'm like, Aww. thank you so much, but I promise you I'll be back. And I'll make everything I can to give you a special shout-out. Good for Scrappy's him. Pet and supplies. Him Scrappy's Pet Supplies. Scrappy's Pet Supplies. Tell us where it is again, Arnold. That is such Family a great owned. story. Where yeah, is it again, Arnold? It's, uh, it's on, on Gulf Bank. Bank. It's Gulf on Gulf Bank. Bank. Scrappy. Do you know his name? What's it's his on, name? It's uh, on 7010 West Gulf Bank Road. And what was that man's name? Do you know? Uh, I, I'm not sure, but it was uh, okay. called Scrappy's Pet Supply. Yeah. I believe it was the owner, and it was a small family-owned business. He really needs it. He really looked like he was there to care for those dogs. He really was. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for calling, Arnold, and I'm glad you got to feed your fur babies. Hang in there, man. Hang in there because we're... We're all just trying to get through it. William is on the line at 833-390-KRBE with a big question because I got this text that re refers to William's question. Hi, William. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, William. Hey. What's your question? What's your comment? Well, my question is uh, everywhere you go, you see 20 center point trucks in the parking lot not doing anything. The guys are sitting out of the trucks. I, I don't know what they're, if they're waiting on assignments or anything, but they're just sitting out and we're still... Without no power, just sitting in the parking lot, twenty trucks at a time. Well, there are some allegations on the text messages about that's what that. I was going to refer to. So okay. there's a text Allegedly. we got, to William. Well, this is the second one I've seen, so uh -huh. I feel like maybe there's some weight to this, Kevin. Okay. Still allegedly, though. Um, we don't know. Yeah, we definitely have to allegedly, allegedly this. <laughs> 
Right. So, William, we got a text with some pictures, and I don't have a t- time on the text because the one that I saw yesterday was yesterday afternoon. It says, because we don't have power in Maplewood, I'm in Katy for emergency vet visits, and I saw two locations where there are dozens of trucks just waiting to be deployed. Employees at the restaurant where we ate lunch said they had been there for hours waiting for direction. Oh the teams drove in from out of state to help, and they can't get Center Point to deploy them, while over a million of us are on no power. The first location was the parking lot on the north side of I-10 in Katy. The second location was just past Katy Taylor High School. I saw a location in the direction of Pearland yesterday on text with the same thing, and those those trucks also said the same thing. They came from out of state. They did their their little grouping, whatever they're supposed to do, a little training thing, mm-hmm. but they still had not been given direction of where to go. And the yeah, they don't know the area. Think about they got to get right. a plan, assignments. They don't right. know. They, that's so that's they, the upper. But somebody is not doing their job. I mean, yesterday the mayor was raising hell about it. Yep, the governor yep. has raised hell about it. Like, what is going on? Why is this happening over and over again? And y'all, this is not our first rodeo with this. I thought that no matter who runs Center Point, there's always a plan for you know getting the linemen in from the other states, telling them their little like you know 101 um, onboarding, and then sending them out to fix. Why is there this delay where we're getting several um, evidential texts? I have two, but I know that other people have been like you know talking about it that they're not getting deployed fast enough, and they're just sitting around there frustrated. I don't. I thought this is like an doesn't matter who's in power. There's just a plan because this is not our first time. So um, we got to get this going better. And I don't know who is scrambling to do this, but we really need you to show us the scramble. Can you show us the scramble? And if you do have your power back, and as Eric said, you feel guilty about it, yeah. on Friday, yep. on Friday, KHOU is um, doing a telethon with the American Red Cross, and we want you to be able to call in with a donation, or we want you to be able to, um, you know, wa- I mean, you can't watch it if you don't have power, but just know that money is being raised with Let's the American the Red Cross. You can on your phone. Yeah, if you- if you have if your you have phone, reception. you're in your car, your reception. Yeah, if you have reception. You From 4 to 7 p.m. on Friday, American Red Cross volunteers are going to be on hand in the KHRU 11 studios to take your calls, donations, and to help hundreds of people across the greater Houston area. The number to call is 713-654-1111. That's on Friday starting at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. From 4 to 7, join us as we stand for Houston together with uh, the American Red Cross and KHRU Channel 11. So coming up next, guys... Um, I guess we still got to figure out who's messing around their relationships. Yeah. People still yep. people still do bad things, cheating. People did that stuff, yeah, back, back in the K-Band days, I'm sure it happened. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it sounded like? Is yeah. that what it sounded like? I don't know how they do <laughs> Kevin right. does the, He does the voices. I don't know. I don't do K-Band Don't, don't, don't put me on the <laughs> <laughs> caveman. I'm going to upset uh-huh. the caveman population out there. <laughs> caveman cheating Canceled. on cavewoman. Um, <laughs> well, Geico's going to cancel you. <laughs> I know the cavemen from Geico are going to revolt. Uh, we'll get to Rulin' Ryan's Roses next on the Rulin' Ryan Show.